Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to split the content from one cell into two cells using Microsoft Excel 2019. So let's open up this folder, go into this spreadsheet and we've got full name here. We've got James, Smith, Jill Kelly and so forth. We've got these names and the objective is to separate the first name and the last name into two separate columns. So the way I normally do this is I want to retain this first column. So I'll simply click on this letter A here, press Control C to copy or right click and copy here. Then go to the B column and then right click and paste. Uh, let's see, paste and just click OK. So we've got a, basically a duplicate copy here now, right? Of the same data then hit the escape key and that will just unselect everything so now we just got a and b looking identical in this column here c i'm going to type in last name and in the in this one here i'm going to type in first name like this so we've got full name here as one column we've got first name and last name let's split this now so let's select just these cells here these ones here the ones that we want to operate on and then we'll go to data and then we'll go to the text to column here. We'll click that and then we'll select delimited and then we'll click next. And we're not separating it by commas or anything like that. We want to click on other here, other, tick this off. And then in fact, you can just select space here, I believe. Yeah, you can select space here, space, or you can click other and then actually type in a space, hit the space bar but it's already, the function's already here, so you can just tick space like this. Now you'll see they're split into two columns. When you click next and then click finish, it will move that data, the surnames, to this column. Then all you've got to do is click on this first cell here and make it unbold, and now you've got first name and surname here, or first and last name, and you retain the original data in this column A, in case you want to use it again. That way you don't have to merge it back to one so afterwards you want to retain that information but split it this way now you can operate and do different stuff to this data this doesn't have to be um you know names first name last name it could have been maybe like the um door number and then the street address for example or something like this right you can split them out that way or the first part and the last part of a postcode because normally a postcode will be something like uh let's say e15 for D, G, something like this. Uh, let's type it as a number. So you, this postcode here, as an example, you could use that same logic to split the first part and the second part of the postcode away into two separate columns. So I hope you find that tutorial useful. Let's save this. Let's close this down. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.